I'm humbled to speak to you as the new director of vocation promotion for our diocese. I'm thankful to Father Joe O'Connor for his 12 years of service to our diocese in this ministry. I'm sure if I encounter success in the future, it'll be because Father O'Connor planted, I will get to water, and God will give the growth. Let us pray for Father O'Connor as he takes on his new role as director of seminary and formation. I also ask for your prayers because without prayer, my ministry will be fruitless. You will find in this packet different resources that you can utilize to make National Vocations Awareness Week 2019 impactful for your community. You'll also find promotional materials from my own office that will hopefully be a support to you as you raise awareness in your community about vocations. You will notice a new seminary and poster that is to be displayed on your campus, especially where young people gather. Please remove the poster from last year. Some of the men on last year's poster have left formation. Good news is that we have welcomed three new seminarians this year, praise God. The theme for this year's vocation promotion efforts in our diocese will be Priest is Healer. As you can see on the seminary and poster, this theme is directly connected to Bishop Lucia's coat of arms. I think this theme could be incredibly powerful in this chapter of our church's history. We can understandably forget that the call to the priesthood is specifically a call to the ministry of healing for the body of Christ. The priest is called to be a healing presence for the community he serves. That is why I'm going to ask all of my brother priests and deacons in the diocese to focus their preaching on the sacraments of healing, the weekend of November 3rd, as we begin to point people's attention to the two great sacraments of healing, reconciliation and anointing. It will hopefully remind the faithful that without the priest, these consoling sacraments would be inaccessible. As much as the image of the priest has been distorted by recent events, is as much as we need to remember that a faithful priest can repair, unify, and restore the body of Christ more quickly than any other response, outreach, or initiative we know of. Please join me in promoting vocations to the priesthood and religious life in our diocese. As you know, I cannot do this alone. I invite all, especially the lay faithful, to collaborate with me in the work of vocation promotion in our parishes. I also humbly beg of you to make a priority on the list of your prayer intentions an increase in vocations. Your prayers will make all the difference. God bless our diocese, and God bless all of our parishes. Amen.